Hi, I'm Lee Touchton, former Valdosta NAACP president. I want to talk to you about the death of Kendrick Johnson, in particular two photos that the Johnson family has been circulating for nine years, claiming that the photos prove that KJ was beaten to death. You can go to Wikipedia and you can find these photos that I'm talking about. It's this one here at the upper right, and it's this one here in the middle. Now, the one in the middle is this gruesome monster looking photo that was taken after KJ's body came back from the autopsy conducted by the GBI medical examiner. The parents took this awful photo at Harrington Funeral Home, the funeral home that was chosen by the Johnsons, and they took this photo knowing that he had been autopsied, and they took it before the funeral home workers had had a chance to reconstruct the face. The Johnsons wanted an open casket funeral. This photo up in the right is an autopsy photo. You can actually get the autopsy photos if you are so inclined by writing to the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department attorneys. It's Elliot Blackburn and Gooding and they're, they could be found on the web here in Valdosta, Georgia and they will send you the entire case file and there's been information added to it for over nine years so you can have a field day looking at it all. But this photo was taken at the autopsy itself after KJ was found dead. He was found dead approximately 20 hours after he died. So this photo was taken four to five days after he died. He had been stored in a refrigerated body cooler at the Valdosta Crime Lab. The parents saw him like this because they were allowed to visit the crime lab. Uh, Sheriff Chris Prine allowed them to go in. They opened the body bag and they were able to view the body. Now that should never have been allowed and we'll come back to that later. But they know that he did not look like this when he was found. Now, Mrs. Johnson took this photo and she enlarged it and she put it on a giant poster and she carried it all around the country to different rallies telling people that he looked like this when he was found, which is not true. I wanna explain a little bit about what this photo means. In an autopsy, the skin at the back of the skull is is sliced open and the, the skin is peeled down over the face so that the prosector, that's what you call the person who performs the autopsy, so, they can, so that they can get at the brain and study it for signs of foul play or any disease or anything of that nature. He has, his face has not been reconstructed at this point and so that's why you see this fold of skin like that. Mrs. Johnson, if you go over to the right, if you just Google Jackie Johnson holding Kendrick face photo, you'll find death of Kendrick Johnson on Wikipedia. You go over to the left rather, and here's Mrs. Johnson in front of the judicial complex in uh, Valdosta, Georgia, and she's holding the poster, and she's got this gruesome photo, and the, the poster is actually captioned, Sheriff Prine said, no foul play, we don't think so. Well, Sheriff Prine didn't say that. What he said to them was, based on our initial examination of the body, we do not see any signs of foul play, but the body is going to be sent to the medical examiner's office for an autopsy. They conducted an investigation looking for any evidence of potential murder and they found none. But Mrs. Johnson from day one got out there in public and said that they had basically considered his death an accident and that this picture right here, the gruesome, awful post-autopsy picture, that that proved he had been beaten to death. No, this proves that his body was four to five days decomposed at that point. He was found upside down, so all the blood fluids flowed to his head and torso. You see signs of skin slippage that happens in decomposition in a body, and you see this folding effect because the body has been prosected, dissected in the autopsy. So if you want to keep believing the Johnsons today, just know that from the very first day of this horrible situation that they have not been telling the public the truth about what happened to their son.